when I started ministry, I used to go and preach, and sometimes now I, I'm, I'm, I have never preached for money. It has never been about giving. I love Jesus with all my heart, and for as long as I live, he becomes my motivation. Are we together? But when I started preaching, I remember when I would go and minister somewhere, and sometimes it's when I climb my bike going back home. They will now stand as if they are bribing me and bring out 2A and just count maybe 1,000 or 500 as a man of God. May the Lord honor you. Thank you for coming for this meeting. I never felt bad because it was only my body that was in that realm. My mind was already years ahead of my body. And I knew my mind would pick my body to a place where I'll be blessed. I never told anybody I am growing. The moment I focus on growing, everything, including the way they treated me as I traveled, began to grow. Can I tell you this? Everything is waiting for you to grow, to grow too. Now, I'm going to demonstrate something that many of you have watched me do it. Can, can I have a few people, gentlemen, sorry for inconveniencing you, please come. Let's have like, um, I need at least six people. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six. Three of you stand here, please, facing one another. No, three stand here, three stand here. Everybody watch. And don't let the devil deceive you to believe you know what I'm saying. Just pay attention to what I'm saying because this is how the devil cheats people in church. Now, watch this. Please go back, guys. This is what I want you to learn. Please, if you can lift your right hand, anything you can find, whether your watch, just lift anything up that represents your results. Watch this. These are all the things that you want. Now, he's lifting money. Now, he's lifting all of this. These are different dimensions in life. Watch this. The way God programmed life is that you don't... All these things they are lifting... Lift it, guys, are needed in your destiny. But to start looking for them one by one is a burden God did not give you. Are you getting what I'm saying? Most of us, when God tells you, you need influence, you need relationship, you need a media ministry, you need finances, you need to travel abroad. How do you start looking for these things one by one? How old will you become before you get them? Let me show you how it works. You don't look for money. You never find it. Every realm and every level in your life has the possibilities attached to it to come. If this is level one, there is something that should come to level one. If this is level two, there is something that should come to level two. You don't bring them by getting them. You bring them by growing. Let me show you how the law works. For every step I take, come close to. Watch this. I'm in one room, poor and broke, from a family where nobody has risen. But I'm listening to Joshua Selman's message. And he's preaching. And I'm listening to it. Lord, I know that you are changing me. Watch this. I don't even know that these things are coming closer to me. Because I can't see them. I'm still in the one room. Let me show you how the law works. God has called you to be an entrepreneur. He has called you to be a man of God. Now, I'm listening to Miles Monroe's materials. I'm listening to all of these things. Oh, there is something called the law of honor. That honor is the key to access. I've grown. Watch this. Are you seeing that now? Everything you are looking for is also looking for you. But it is not looking for this version of you. Please go back, guys. Is someone learning now? There is a version of you that wants to get this. A version of you that wants to sit in business class. You sit with business class with only 100 naira in your pocket. You are not yet there. So you go back. You know you have entered a realm because everything around you grows to support that realm. You cannot buy a jeep and be looking for one gallon of foil to foil it. You are not there. Are you seeing now? If it is by growth you get to a point where you can buy a jeep then other supporting areas would have grown to make foiling a car not an issue this is the mistake and the fallacy of a fake life you came to church sit down and learn watch this now because for some of you i'm showing you a graphic picture of what god is doing with you now 
You are seated in that house and you are saying, Lord, will you ever lift me? And then you keep learning. And then you keep learning. And then you keep learning. One day somebody just calls you and says, where are you? Is the law of time and chance happening. Remember the power of God is supervising that law. You are a businessman. Someone now says, can you help me sell one land? Um, and you sell it and make 300,000. It is small compared to the kingdom financier billionaire you are to be. But it is a test. It is only God showing you that this thing is working. Now you keep engaging these laws. A time will come where even you cannot push them away. The moment you are growing, even if you try to push them, they won't go. You push money away, it will not go because your growth has brought it to your life. Are you getting what I'm saying now? Now watch this. By the time you stand this way, everything has surrounded you. The media interview you have always looked for, you forgot about it and focused on growth. The jeep that will not make people sleep. Now you have cars, you don't even know what to do with it because they were designed to follow growth, not just desire. Believers, if you pay attention to what I'm saying, you will look for me one day and say, Apostle, thank you. Let's go back. This is where you are, my dear brother. Nobody knows you, yet you are a man of God that God has said you will go to the nations. There is temptation to live a fake life and get into premature manifestation. And God says, don't worry. Oh God, but I am, I am 30 years old and I don't have a car. God says, just focus on growing. Just focus on growing. And while you are growing, one day, God will position your destiny helpers in a conference and bring you there to preach. And then because you have allowed yourself to be transformed, by the time you preach, you see this man holding money? He will carry what will be somebody's one year salary and give to you. Just when you want to rejoice, God says, ah, we are still in the school of the spirit. This is not all you need. This is just to encourage you that it is working. Let's go back to class. Now, many people out of pride just stand and start bragging and says, no. Can I be honest with you? You can go back and everything also will go back. This is the mystery behind balloon success. Now, watch this. I can use willpower and I can manipulate my way to hold this. Whereas I have not grown. The laws of God's justice system will interpret this as a lie. I will lose this thing no matter how careful I am. Life must take me back to the real place that befits my mindset. Can I be honest with you? My dear people, hear me. This is where living a fake life. If you eat tomorrow's bread today, you will be hungry tomorrow. If you wear tomorrow's cloth today, if all you have is a trouser of 500 naira, iron it with honor. It is only your body wearing it. Your mind is already in a boutique, shopping for your next level of life, walking with the Holy Spirit. We live in a world today where people are proud, uh, they feel ashamed of process. If you come and meet me in a one room with my Bible and my candle and I'm praying and reading a book, usually I'll be afraid and ashamed. And so I will lie and tell my friend, can you borrow me your house? So that I will give a narrative that I'm making it. No, the Bible did not leave us in the dark as to the fact that people can rise. And can I tell you this? Let men laugh while you rise. There will be the witnesses the day you rise. They will be the ones who tell people, no, 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 minus this person. We knew him. We saw him when he started. Make up your mind that there is no living a fake life anywhere. Don't borrow any money to go and buy clothes and buy this and buy a car. That debt is killing you. Your mindset is cooperating with Satan to bring you back. Punishing yourself in circles. Simply because you want to give a narrative that you're successful. You can find rest God's way. One last time. Let me act your journey right now. For some of you, you have gotten to level one. Some of you are already millionaires, but that's not all God wants to do. Some of you are billionaires, but that's not all God wants to do. Can I tell you this? Until you get to a point where you can give to the kingdom without inconvenience, you are not yet there. Mm. 
so as i kneel to pray as i come for koinonia every week let me tell you what is happening to you week one week two you don't look like it week three all that folly you are falling under the anointing you stand up and feel your wevon fell out. don't worry don't worry this is what is happening to you i know you are laughing but take seriously what i'm saying you are listening to the word of god others are sleeping you are awake praying you are studying materials all because you want to build your mind a day will come you will see people's prayer requests coming to you you didn't remember praying for them but you fulfilled the lord that brought them they will come so close to you you will drive them and they will not go away a day will come you say god these cars are enough just when you are saying it a call will come and somebody will say god told me and god says i can't stop you are obeying the law i must back it please do not think what you are hearing is some entertainment from a preacher no i fear god too much to come and waste your precious time here Alabara. You are the mighty God. Hey, Lato Bichi. You are the glorious God. Allah Barak. You are the mighty God. Hey, Lato Bichi. You are the glorious Please go back one last time, gentlemen. Watch this. This was what God told me many years ago son do not worry about these things focus on my principles that what you could not eat then you will eat it tomorrow the first crusade that we went to they were less than maybe about the size of our worship team here can you imagine praying and fasting for weeks as if you would die only to get to the crusade ground we were in debt. The same ladies who were in the welfare were in the worship team. They climbed trees to pluck firewood for us to cook before they went to sing. But it was only our bodies that were there. Powerful crusade. And I said, Lord, someday nations and kings will come. Transformation in partnership with the word of God will take us there. And today... To him be the glory. And this is only one step out of the cave. Can I tell you this? Do not feel embarrassed by the inconveniences that you may see right now. Stop faking it. Stop roaming around getting angry and feeling this person should have helped me. The fact that they cannot remember you means you are not walking by this law. There is a level that when you get to, your helpers must remember you. So you see that it was only the body of Joseph that was in that prison. Joseph knew. I'm sure Joseph was comforting them. And they were saying, Joseph, what is the basis of your confidence? You are a prisoner like us. He said, no, it is only my body that is with you. When I get up, I will make sure that I favor you. And in one night, no. Here is the fallacy of saying people just came out of nowhere. No. They rose to match where their minds have always been. Just because you did not see their training process does not mean they were not trained. You might be a politician here. Please hear me. You are starting as a local government chairman. But your level of kingdom and mental transformation is the mindset of a senator. A mindset of a president a mindset of an ambassador can i tell you the truth it will be impossible for you to remain in that position i don't care what party you are the force that backs this law is so powerful that no institution on earth sustains the power to stop an individual who fulfills this law this is true so the lord is telling you right now why is it that in spite of the fact that i'm getting money i'm not doing anything you are focused on getting not growing next time you rise and someone says you are just lucky 
tell the person please sit down i have a few things to tell you out of a heart of love and comfort it is not luck it is understanding are we blessed one last time never forget this teach your children teach everyone you know you are a ceo gather the people in your company and tell them stop complaining about the money you are receiving the money you are receiving is not all i am paying it is what your mindset instructed me to pay you the day you rise the instruction will change let this be your destiny in the name of jesus that by growth by growth everything that you are looking for today by growth when it comes by growth you are not afraid because everything will grow together are we blessed gentlemen god bless you i really appreciate you let's celebrate them let's give them a big